This is JPL, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, a national research center. For NASA, we are exploring the solar system with unmanned spacecraft, from the sun to the outer reaches of deep space, billions of miles from Earth. Over 40 years ago, students at the California Institute of Technology began experimenting with crude liquid rockets, which led to the establishment of this laboratory. Today, working with Caltech, we are performing hundreds of scientific and engineering tasks in space exploration, basic research, and the development of new energy sources. Our first venture into space began when JPL built Explorer 1, the Western world's first satellite. We sent Ranger spacecraft to impact on the moon. We touched down softly on the lunar surface with surveyors. Interplanetary exploration began with the Mariner series of spacecraft. Mariners have measured the blazing heat of Venus, photographed the motions of its thick clouds, measured the solar wind close to the sun, discovered Mercury's magnetic field, photographed its ancient craters, mapped the entire surface of Mars, discovering its volcanic mountains, channels, and deep canyons. With NASA's Langley Research Center, we shared the Viking mission to Mars and took detailed, high-resolution pictures of the planet. Separation. Each Viking dispatched a lander to the surface, and the landers returned the first close-up photographs of the rock-covered surface of the Martian plain. Our spacecraft are intricate, remote-controlled machines that are evolving into robots designed to think for themselves. This is the Voyager spacecraft. Two identical Voyagers are now in deep space. They photograph the swirling colors of Jupiter's atmosphere. And on Io, one of Jupiter's 13 moons, they discovered active volcanoes. At Saturn, they saw the great classic rings, which appeared to be composed of thousands of smaller rings. But careful analysis revealed the major rings were continuous sheets of particles. And they explored the planet's strange icy moons. Voyager 2 may reach Uranus. With the invisible leash of radio, our spacecraft are linked to the antennas of our deep space network, which capture the faint electromagnetic whispers sent across hundreds of millions of miles of space. The link from spacecraft to tracking station is continued with a link to computers and control rooms at JPL. JPL is a magnet that draws the technical skills of men and women from a broad spectrum of engineering and scientific disciplines. Nearly 4,000 people work at JPL, some in spaceflight, some in research, others in telecommunications. But a new group has formed at the laboratory in recent years, and its task is to adapt the skills and automation of space exploration to everyday use 
and often we see a hint of our future reflected in their work. A future in which a driverless vehicle moves in the flow of traffic. It is guided electronically by wires in the pavement and can sense other vehicles in its path and react to their presence. A future in which cars run not on gas, but on electricity. This sleek model, under test at JPL, moves in eerie silence past cars it could replace. A miniature freeway with scale models helps us examine the problem of automobile exhaust dispersion in covered roadways. of using coal by converting it to a liquid that can be pumped through pipelines and sprayed continuously into steam boilers. In the digital language of the computer lie insights for the physician. The computer can precisely measure the thickening of an artery near the heart. or map critical changes in muscle fibers. We have long been able to transmit sight and sound electronically across great distances. Now with telemanipulation, the hand of man reaches electronically across those distances. We have developed a system that converts the motions of a man's arm and hand into electronic signals. These, in turn, are translated by a remote manipulator system that imitates the motions with great precision. Manipulators such as these can operate where man cannot. These extensions of man can duplicate his sense of touch and detect when they are close to an object. A glimpse of tomorrow is revealed in a robot that can see, recognize, and make decisions. Acting on one simple command, the machine coordinates electronic eyes and metal hand to efficiently perform its selected task. The era of the robot is fast approaching. A robot can easily work on the ocean floors where man is limited replace man in other hazardous occupations, or take over tedious, repetitive tasks that man is unsuited for. In the future, electricity direct from the sun may be available as an energy source. The solar cell, a thin, flat wafer made of silicon, can convert sunlight directly into electricity. As a lead center for the Department of Energy, we are reducing the cost of the solar cell to make it competitive with other energy sources. Someday, the solar cell may provide power for our homes, farms, and factories. But the sun's power can also be collected with mirrors and focused to heat a fluid and drive an engine or produce electricity. And these same highly refined mirrors are used by astronomers to focus the energy emitted by stars and gas clouds in deep space to study the nature of the universe. We are exploring the use of light in the form of lasers for application in remote sensing. A laser can detect a molecule of gas and yield precision data on the chemistry of smog 
or measure the distance from a spacecraft to an asteroid. Galaxies of stars billions of light years from Earth are captured in a computer and glowing starlight is transformed into new shapes and colors to aid in analysis. Similar techniques are being used to examine pictures of our own world supplied by the land satellite. The bizarre coloring can reveal riches in the Earth that are hidden from our eyes. We have scanned the oceans of the world with CSAT the first in a new breed of satellites to explore the waters that cover 75% of the globe. With the radar techniques designed to probe an alien planet, we have looked at our vast oceans where the Earth's weather is born and have given oceanographers a fresh look at their domain. When the second shuttle was launched into orbit, JPL experiments scanned the Earth's surface in the infrared and with a new imaging radar, look down upon the Earth to map geological features that are clues to hidden resources. The radar swept four miles of the Earth's surface each second, 10,000 miles in only 45 minutes, recording the terrain below through storms or darkness. To monitor the shuttle's boom, JPL is designing a voice control system for the operator. Stop. Stop. This allows him to command a battery of television cameras to follow the movements of the boom without removing his hands from the controls. Stand right. In the future, the spacecraft Galileo will cross the half billion miles of space to Jupiter it will orbit the planet and send a probe hurtling into its atmosphere. The probe, designed by NASA's Ames Research Center, will slash through clouds of ammonia crystals, plunge through a layer of water ice, and continue deep into the thick gases of the atmosphere. to the sun by the European Space Agency that will look down on the sun's poles which have never been seen to help understand the complex physics of our star. In a joint effort with the Netherlands and the United Kingdom, we will launch an Earth satellite with a telescope sensitive to the infrared radiation which does not penetrate the Earth's atmosphere. The familiar night sky as seen by our eyes will glow in a strange new pattern of stars, galaxies, and clouds of dust. In a future mission, we are planning to skim the tops of the clouds of Venus and with powerful radar, map the unseen surface of the planet. We have researched a new propulsion system, the Ion Drive which can slowly build spacecraft velocity to hundreds of thousands of miles per hour. We can chase and catch a comet and examine material unchanged since the birth of our solar system. JPL is designing a sensitive electronic camera for the space telescope that will be launched by the space shuttle in 1985. The telescope will look deeply into our Milky Way galaxy and explore the vastness of space beyond our galaxy to the edge of the visible universe. But we can also explore the universe without leaving the surface of Earth. The antennas of the deep space network can be used to listen for a message from outer space for evidence of other civilizations among the billions of stars in our Milky Way galaxy. lies a spacecraft that we can conceive but is yet not designed. A machine that can safely plunge into the void of interstellar space and make possible the ultimate journey to explore the stars that shine in our night sky. <laughs>